गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स आप सबों का बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन इस वीडियो में हम लोग बात करेंगे बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण इन्वायरमेंटल और साइंस सेक्शन से सेलेक्टेड क्वेश्चन तो बने रहिए इस चैनल में देखते रहिए सीखते रहिए आगे बढ़ते रहिए ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन लेट सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर स्क्रीन कंसर्ट दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग इंटरनेशनल थर्मो न्यूक्लियर एक्सपेरिमेंट रिएक्टर थर्मो न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर थर्मो न्यूक्लियर एक्सपेरिमेंट रिएक्टर इट एम्स टू बिल्ड एन एक्सपेरिमेंटल मैशीन टू प्रोड्यूस अ लार्ज स्केल एंड कार्बन फ्री सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी इट इज बेस्ड ऑन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ न्यूक्लियर फिजन इट इज इंडिया इज अम्बर ऑफ इट्स एक्सपेरिमेंट इज नॉट बेस्ट ऑन द न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन बट इट्स न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन सो यू नो अबाउट दैट वन एंड थ्री इज आंसर इंटरनेशनल थर्मो न्यूक्लियर एक्सपेरिमेंट International thermonuclear experimental reactor is an international nuclear fusion. Fusion, fusion, fusion. Research and engineering mega project aimed at the replicating Okay, so let's start. So, this is the international nuclear fusion research and engineering mega project aimed at Replicating the fusion process of the sun to create energy on Earth. The purpose of ITER is to demonstrate the scientific and technological feasibility of fusion energy for future electricity generation. ITER's goal are to produce ten times as much output energy as input for short time periods to demonstrate. and test the technological the technology that would be needed to operate a fusion power plant including cryogenics heating control and diagnostic system including remote maintenance to achieve and learn from burning plasma to test tritium breeding to demonstrate the safety of the fusion plant currently there are seven signatories to the ITER agreement the european union through the legally distinct organization china india japan russia south korea and united states ITER india is a special project run by indias institute for plasma research ITER indias research facilities is based in ahmedabad in the gujarat state India's deliver deliverers deliverers to the ITR project include the cryo state, vessel shielding, the cooling and the cooling water system. Also, the following statement: program of action for cancer therapy, human health program, international project on innovative nuclear reactors and fuel cycle, which are the program of international atomic energy. I think you know about that. Everything. A B C D. The International Atomic Energy Agency (I A E A) officer offers its member states a broad range of services. This includes technical cooperation of program for some 125 countries to assist them in peaceful use of the nuclear technology, a research project support program, and an array of review mission. for countries with a nuclear power plant some of its important programs or some of its important programs are program of action for cancer therapy it is a program created by the international atomic energy in 2004 to build upon the agency's experience in radiation medicine and technology that enable developing countries to introduce expand or improve their cancer care capacity and services in sustainable manner by integrating radiotherapy into a comprehensive cancer control program that maximizes the its therapeutic effectiveness and impact the human health program the iaea has established the human health program to support member states in using nuclear techniques to prevent 
diagnose and treat non-communicable disease. The Human Health Program provides a holistic approach to prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of non-communicable disease, covering for main support areas, nutrition, diagnosis, and follow-up radiation oncology and radiotherapy and the quality assurance. International projects on innovative nuclear reactors and fuel cycle. It is a membership-based project that supports its member on their long-term planning and collaboration on innovation in reactors, fuel cycle, and institutional approaches that will promote the sustainable development of nuclear energy. INPRO was established in 2000 to help ensure that the nuclear energy remains available to contributing uh, contribute to the meeting global energy needs until the end of the 21st century. It provides a forum for expert and policy makers from industrialized and developing countries to, to discuss and co for, cooperate on such issues as the sustainable planning, development and deployment of nuclear energy. With the reference to the forest side, I consider the following statements. It is a consensus, consensus that the fourth schedule of the Indian Constitution. It gives the forest dwelling communities the right to extract minor forest produce. It gives right to ownership to land them by the forest developers subject to the maximum of four hectares. Which of the above statement is are correct? It is a consonance with the fourth schedule of the Indian Constitution. It gives forest dwelling communities right to extract minor forest produce. It gives rights to the ownership, the land found by the forest developers subject to a maximum of four hectares. Which are the correct? First statement is wrong. So, answer will be only in only two and three. The scheduled tribes and other traditional forest developers in the forest recognition of Forest Right Act 2006 was passed on 18 December 2006. The law concerned the rights of the forest developing communities. To deny them over decades as a result of the continuance of a colonial, colonial forest laws in India. It explained the mandate of the fifth schedule and sixth schedule of the constitution that protects the claim of indigenous community for the our tracts of the land or forest where they had the act recognized the vast west the forest rights and occupations in the forest land in the forest dwelling schedule tribes and other traditional forest developers have been residing in such forest for generations these are title rights ownership to explain that is being framed by the tribals or the forest developers as 13 December 2005, the subject to the maximum of four hectares. The ownership is the only of the land that is actually being cultivated by the concerned family as on the date, meaning that no new land are granted. Huge rights to minor forest produce, also including ownership. To grazing areas to pastoralist routes, etc. Relief and development rights to rehabilitation in the case of illegal eviction or forced displacement to the basic amenities 
the subject to restriction for forest protection forest management rights to protect forest and wildlife i said the following statement main and bio spear program international geo science and geo park program climate and clean air coalition international hydrological program which of the above are the initiative of united nations educational scientific and cultural organization that means unesco number 1 number 2 only or four unesco united nation educational number 4 international hydrological program unesco is the united nation educational scientific and cultural organization it seeks to rebuild peace through the international cooperation in education science and culture unesco program contribute to the achievements of the sustainable development goals defined in agenda 2030 adopted by the un general assembly in 2015 initiative the initiative of unesco are main and bio sphere program the mab program is the intergovernmental scientific program that aims to establish a scientific basis for enhancing the relationship between the people and their environments it combines the natural and social science with a view to improving human livelihoods and safeguarding natural and managed ecosystem thus promoting innovative approach to economic development that are socially and culturally appropriate and environment sustainably india has 18 biosphere reserve out of which 11 have been recognized internationally under the main and biosphere mab program second one international geo science and geo park programs the international geo science and geo park program iggp consists of two pillars international geo science program since 1992 has harnessed the intellectual capacity of the worldwide network international geo science program since 1992 as ascent the harness intellectual capacity of the worldwide network of geo scientists to lay the foundation for our planet's future focusing on responsibly and environmental resource extraction natural hazard resilience resiliency resiliency and preparedness and adaptability in the area of the changing climate UNESCO global geo parks are laboratories for sustainable development which promote the recognition and the management of the earth heritage and the sustainable of the local communities as of july 2020 there are 161 UNESCO global geo park within 44 member state covering a total area of 3025 179 km international hydrological program an intergovernmental hydrological program ihp is the only intergovernmental program of the united nation system devoted to the water research and management the related education and the capacity development climate and clean air coalition it is a initiative of united nation environment program UNEP it is the only global effort that unites government civil society private sector committed to providing air quality and protecting the climate in the next few decades by reducing the short life climate pollutants across sector coalition is initial focus is on methane black carbon and hfcs at the same time the partners recognize that the action on the short life climate pollutants must complete complement and supplement not replace the global action to reduce carbon dioxide in particular efforts under the un article c which of the following pair are correctly matched convention protocols are related to 
Bourne Convention is a conservation of migratory. Yes, Vienna Convention, not Basel Convention, not Kigali Agreement, Amendment to the Montreal Protocol. Yes, one and four is right. Bourne Convention also known as Convention on Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals is an international agreement that aims to conserve migratory species throughout their ranges. It is the only global and United Nations based intergovernmental organization established exclusively for the conservation and the management of terrestrial, aquatic, avian migratory species. The Vienna Convention for the Protection of Ozone Layer is a multilateral environment agreement signed in 1985 that provided frameworks for the international reduction in the production of the chlorofluorocarbons due to the contribution to the destruction of the ozone layer, resulting in an increased threat of the skin cancer. The Basel Convention is an international treaty that was designed to reduce the movement of the hazardous waste between the nations, specifically to prevent transfer of hazardous waste from developed to the less developed countries. The Rally Agreement is an amendment to the Montreal Protocol, which seeks to gradually reduce the consumption and the production of the hydrofluorocarbon. It is a legally binding agreement that is designed to create rights and obligations in the international law. The United Nations Framework for the Climate Change Convention divided the countries in Annexure 1, Annexure 2, and non Annexure 1 countries. In this context, consider the following statement. Next-year one countries are developed countries that are committed to reduce their emission level greenhouse gases to target that are mainly set below their 1990 levels. And next year two countries are developing countries that no that not require reducing emission levels unless developed countries supply enough funding and technology. India is an extra two party country. Two and three is wrong. One is statement correct. Parties of UNFCCC are classified as extra one countries, industrialized countries, and economics in transition. Extra one countries which have ratified the protocol to have committed to reduce their emission levels of greenhouse gases to the targets that are mainly set below their 1990 levels. There are 43 and extra one countries, and the European Union is also a member. Extra two countries, developed countries, which pay for cost of developing countries. Extra two countries are subgroup of extra one countries. They comprise the OECD members, excluding those that were economics in transition in 1992. Extra one, non extra one countries, developing countries. Developing countries are not required to reduce emission level unless developed countries supply. Enough funding and technology, India is a non annexure party to UNFC. Schedule 6 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 contents, which simple question I think we know about that. A list of the species, plant species that can be cultivated but cannot be traded outside India. No, list of the plant species that are forbidden for from cultivation. Wildlife Protection Act 1972 is an act of the Parliament of India enacted for the protection of plants and animal species. This act provides for the protection of the country's wildlife animals, birds, plant species in order to ensure environmental and ecological security. Among the other things, the act lays down restriction on hunting of many, many animal species. It has six schedules which give varying degrees of protection. Schedule 1. Under this schedule, species need rigorous protection and therefore the harsh, harsh, harsh penalties harsh penalties for a violation of the law are for species under the schedule 1. Schedule 2. Animals under this list are accorded high protection. They cannot be hunted except under the threat to human life. The species listed in Serial 3 and Serial 4 are also protected, but the penalties are much lower. Animals under the Serial 5, example, common crows, fruit baits, rape, 
mice are legally considered vermin and they may be hunted freely. The specified endemic plants in Schedule 6 are prohibited from cultivation and planting. These species are Bedomes Yasad, Blue Banda, Kut, Lady Sleeper, Orchid, Teacher Plant, Red Banda, Red Banda, Blue Banda, Ladies Sleeper Orchid, Teacher Plant, Bedomes, Bed Domes, they are Schedule 6. With the reference to Sundarban, consider the following statement. It is the only mangrove forest in the world inhabited by tigers. It is categorized as an endangered as per the IUCN red list of the ecosystem. A species of fish mass fin food and buffy fish owl are endemic to Sundarban. No, only and only one and two. Sundarban is a mangrove area in the delta formed by the confluence of Ganga, Brahmaputra and Meghna rivers in the Bay of Bengal. Four protected areas in the Sundarban are enlisted as UNESCO World Heritage Site, Sundarban National Park, Sundarban West, Sundarban South, Sundarban East, East West South, East West and South, Wildlife Sanctuary. Sundarban mangrove ecosystem in India are evaluated as endangered as per the IUCN red list of the ecosystem framework. Recently, it was reported that Geological Survey of India that out of total 1300 species of birds in India, 428 species of birds are found Sundarban. It means that one in every three birds is the country is found in Sundarban. Out of 428 birds listed, some like mask fin food, buffy fish owl are recorded only from Sundarban. The area is the home to nine out of four, 12 species of the kingfisher found in the country as well as the rare species such as, such as Gaiolith, Heron and Spoon Bile Send Piper. With the reference to the intended nationally determined contribution, INDC, consider the following. They are the outcome of the Earth Summit 2012. Under this, under this matlab, intended nationally determined contribution, India committed to achieve about 50% cumulative electric power and storage capacity from non fossil fuel based energy sources by 2030, which are the correct. Only and only B is the right. Countries across the globe committed to create a new international climate agreement by a conclusion of UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, Conference of Parties 2020, COP 21 in the Paris in December 2015. In, the, uh, in preparation, countries have agreed to publicly outline what post-2020 climate action they intend to take under the new international agreement, known as international uh, intended nationally determined contribution. India has submitted its intended nationally determined contribution (INDC) to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, silent feature of. India's INDC to put forward to further propagate a healthy and a sustainable way of living based on tradition and values of conservation and moderation to adopt a climate friendly and cleaner path than the than the one followed with Trato by others at the corresponding level of economic development. To reduce the emission intensity of its GDP by 33 to 35 percent by 2030 from 2005 level, to achieve about 40 percent cumulative electric power installed capacity 
from non fossil fuel based energy resources by 2030 with the help of transfer of technology and low cost international finance including from green climate fund to create an additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion tons of carbon dioxide equivalent to the additional forest and tree cover by 2030 to better adapt to the climate change by enhancing the investment in development programs in the sector vulnerable to the climate change particularly agriculture water resources himalayan region coastal region health and disaster management to mobilize domestic and new and additional funds from developed countries to implement the above mitigation and adaptation action in the view of resource required and the resource gap to build capacities create domestic framework and international architecture for quick diffusion of cutting edge climate technology in India and for joint collaborative R&D for such future technology. With reference to the new emerging new and emerging strategic technology must consider the following. It is a division set up under the Ministry of Science and Technology. It acts as a nodal point to exchange views with the foreign governments regarding energy, emerging technology as artificial intelligence and Internet of Things. Yes. Only be the right new and emerging strategy technology NEST is created under the Ministry of External Affairs. NEST is created under the Ministry of External Affairs. NEST act as a nodal point to exchange views with foreign governments on a new emerging strategic technology. The division helps in collaboration with foreign partners in the field of 5G and the artificial intelligence. It helps access a foreign policy, the international legal implication of a new and emerging technology and technology-based resources and recommend appropriate foreign policy choice. The division holds responsibility for the matters that involves negotiations with multilateral fora like the United Nations, G20. This will help to safeguard India's interest as such forum govern the rules of access to such technology with reference to the bio remediation consider the following statement regarding bio sparging bio sparging and bio remediation with reference to the bio remediation consider the following statement regarding bio sparging it is a it is a x2 remediation technology it is a technique where soil is periodically turned in order to enhance the aeration. aviation Myospergy is an X2, not at all. Bioremediation is the use of microorganism to degrade the environmental contaminants into less toxic forms. Biosparging is in in situ remediation technology that uses the indigenous microorganism to biodegrade organic constituents in the saturated contaminated chores. Biosparging is a process of non water remediation as oxygen and possible nutrients is injected. When oxygen is injected, indigenously bacteria are stimulated to increase rate of degradation. Biosparging focuses on saturated contaminated zones, specifically related to the non water remediation. Which of the following species are included? In the species recovery program under the integrated development of wildlife habitats, dugong, red panda, Asiatic elephant, and caracal, volar. It's not a caracal. Asiatic elephant already 
species recovery program is one of the components of integrated development of wildlife habitat. Species recovery program started in 2008-9. Integrated development of wildlife habitats is mean for providing support to protected areas, protection of wildlife outside, protected areas and recovery program for serving critically endangered species and habitat. So far, the recovery program for critically endangered species in India includes 22 wildlife species. The species are, these are the snow leopard, bustard, dolphin, hungul, nilgiri tar, marine turtles, dugong, paracal, edible nest let, Asian wildlife buffalo, Nicobar, Megapod, Manipur, Bro, Antil, Lud, Deer, Vultures, Malabar Civet, Indian Dinosaurs, Ascetic Lion, Swamp Deer, Jordan's Tulsar, Northern Weaver Terrapin, Clouded Leopard, Arabian Sea Hemback, Whale and Red Panda. Answer the following statement regarding the wildlife international. It is a it is an a, an accredited organization of United Nations Environment Program. It is an official of IUCN Red List Authority for Birds. Bombay Natural History Society is the partner of Wildlife International in India. Which are the correct? One, two, and three. Bird Life International. Bird Life International is a global partnership of non government organization that strives to conserve the birds.